Michael took to his Instagram stories to post a screenshot from Deadline showcasing the nominees for Best Sports Documentary at the 8th Annual Critics' Choice Documentary Awards. BS High, which is available on Max, was shortlisted amongst titles like Black Ice, The Deepest Breath, and Reggie. The news was posted to the official SMAC Entertainment Instagram, which Michael reposted. BS High is the football-centric documentary that his company produced about Bishop Sycamore High School. As he explained it, it's about everything that went on with them that came to light after they played a game against IMG Academy. They were blown out. A lot of stuff happened. Come to find out, maybe it wasn't a real school. Hmm. You got to see the documentary to find out whether it's true or not. Michael recently shocked fans with a sarcastic comment about a contestant's use of the word keister. Michael hosts the game show, which sees contestants working to figure out specific words with a number of clues. A recent episode saw contestants making Michael laugh with their wacky answers. A clip was posted to social media that saw Michael making a funny quip about one contestant's inability to figure out the secret word. The official Instagram account for the $100,000 pyramid captioned the clip. How do you say, peach emoji? In the video, the contestants tried to figure out the way to refer to a person's behind during one round. One desperately kept throwing out suggestions like keister and butt. As the round ended, an amused Michael had to make a comment on the contestants' usage of keister. Damn, he said. You don't say booty, but you say keister. Michael quipped. No one could stop laughing at what Michael had pointed out. Recently, Michael begged Dancing with the Stars to invite him back after the Good Morning America host revealed an update on his future at the morning show. The popular NFL analyst appeared as a guest judge on DWTS during the show's Motown night. While still absent from his hosting duties, Michael made a quick appearance on GMA to discuss his time as a guest judge on DWTS, the former New York Giant gave fans a look behind the scenes as she shared clips from his night in the ballroom. Michael revealed that it was an incredible night, adding that the judges, host and dancers couldn't be more welcoming and made him feel like he belonged. Because of the show's atmosphere, he happily agreed to join the show of a night as he exclaimed, Yes, I want to be a guest judge. George Tiffanopoulos, 62, asked, So are you gonna add another job to your portfolio now? No, George, I'm sticking right there next to you, Michael replied. The GMA host then added, And George, I'll add another job to my portfolio when you dance on national television. Much to the enjoyment of the other hosts. George waited for the laughter to die down before asking, How much do you guys want to bet he gets another job before I dance on Dancing with the Stars? Robin Roberts, 62, then joked, there is nothing that you can't do, but we thought we were gonna see a little magic mic. We thought we were gonna see you bust a move out there. As the segment came to a close, Michael admitted, it couldn't have been better. Everyone here was so welcoming and inviting, and I felt like I was at home. I had so much fun yesterday, I did not know what to expect, and it exceeded all the expectations that I had. The interview was reposted on the GMA Instagram page, where fans weighed in on Michael's DWTS performance and his future on the morning show. One person wrote, he was fantastic. A second fan commented, Michael makes a great dancing judge. Definitely his next gig, added a third. A fourth commenter remarked, thought Michael was great as a judge. While a fifth agreed, writing, he did a great job, loved it.